Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this session of Sales Report, we will take a look upon Sales Analysis tab and Sales Employee tab. Again, the Sales Analysis is found in Sales Report as Sales Analysis. We will be seeing Items tab. This Sales Analysis report provides an in-depth information about sales volume achieved with customers through business. In addition, a graphical display helps the information analysis. This report provides in determining some information by which you can know which of your products are most successful within the market. It gives a relative analytical data in combination of item, date and customer. This report also helps the analyzer to analyze the sales trend of an item within a given period. Let's see about the selection criteria. Select whether you want the report to reflect the result for an entire month, entire year or a quarter. Select the document type on which you want to base the sales analysis. You can select individual or group display. Individual or group display that means the report will display for an individual item or for the group item. You can select whether you want totals, whether you want total by customer or total by sales employee. No totals mean that it will display one row for each item or item group in the report. This depends on the selection you have made in individual display or group display fields. Total by customer displays a row for each combination of an item and customer or items group and customer in the report. Total by sales employee this means it will display a row for which combination of an item and sales employee who was involved in selling it. Then there are some date selection criteria, posting date, due date and document date. You can select the item you can choose to display the amount in system currency then there is a main selection criteria and secondary selection criteria secondary selection criteria means you can define additional selection by customer range group or properties by sales employee or both let's run this report in the first selection criteria as annual report invoices and individual display with no totals after running this report in annual report this is the report that we get you can see that there are items individual items their description quantities over a uh, year the sales amount the gross profit what I can do I can simply click on this graph here and it will give me a graphical report this is a straightforward report where you have individual items and their totals for an year taking AR invoices into consideration again I can choose here to print this report with the diagrams or without the diagrams I have the option here to choose which representation of the diagram I want May it be bar graph, may it be spline, or may it be line diagram. We can see that these graphs helps the analyzer to analyze the trend of an item. Let's select a different criteria. Let's stick to our original annual report invoices individual display but let's have total by customer this time. You can see this report gives me the item and the customer and the quantities that they bought. Let's see about the difference in between these two reports. We can see in the first report I have highlighted this item as T color printer 5.0 and I can see the total quantities are 13. Now in nowhere in the report I can know who are the 
customers that have bought these many quantities but when I select total by customers I can see that Technosys has bought one Paramount has bought nine Machina has bought three and in total they are becoming 13 so in SAP Business One, you have many levels of analytical reports that you can use. Let's see sales analysis by sales employee that gives the analyzer a view of report to analyze the item sales employee related performance. Let's change our selection criteria by monthly report, document, individual display and no totals. And here I am selecting as the orders as my document. You can see here again that it is giving me monthly breakup of all the items here. It is also giving a feel of annual total. Let's change our selection criteria by including total customers. We can see here that now the items are combined with the group code. Group code 100 has these many items and these many were the customers that have bought. So in SAP Business One it is highly flexible to display the report as per your accordingly criteria. Let's see something about the sales employee tab. When you run this report, you have different sales employee and the total AR invoices that they have been involved into, the gross profit and the amount of these sales invoices. Benefits of running this report, first is the quick analysis of trend of sales with respect to last year, quarter or month different graphical representation to view and understand the sales trend line in a better way, ability to print the sales analysis report, increased levels of analysis like items and item group helps in analyzing the performance of sales employee. In next session we will see the back order report.